you in for a treat. Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. Today I want to thank my friend Michael Hong for coming over and fixing my lighting for me. I really appreciate you coming here and doing that as well as fixing the settings of my camera. The quality of the image is so much better and I am so happy that now I can give you guys better content. Thank you so much Michael. If you are new to the channel, welcome and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe before you go. I would really appreciate it. It would really help me out a lot. And if you are one of my OG subscribers, welcome back and I really love you for sticking around and hopefully all of y'all who have subscribed to me recently will stick around as well i have many many plans for the channel and i hope you guys can grow with me today i want to review a palette that i had already filmed but because the subject of the filming was already addressed with my rent i don't want to drag the subject and i don't want my channel to be known as like hateful shady draggy channel so i decided to refilm the whole thing just do the whole thing again with you guys we are going to review a palette that i got this is the palette is from nyx is a collab from nyx and netflix the chilling adventures of sabrina part three i gotta be honest with you guys when i got into the nyx store and i saw this palette i was like holy smokes this is what i've been waiting for as i already addressed on my rent video if you guys didn't see it i was really looking for a colorful palette with some nice glitters and things like that finally i can play with some color i did the math we have 30 shades right here we also have three pens with these two guys right here blushes and this guy in the middle right here is a highlighter so so these 33 pans right here for $35 which makes each pan about a dollar and six cents USD which is pretty nice value for this it's cruelty free it's not vegan because it has carmine another cool thing about this palette it has like this charms each of the charms are combinations of colors so you can make a look this palette has pressed pigments. Back here, they have a diagram showing the pressed pigment pens that cannot be used on or around the eye. What pressed pigments are, as my understanding is, there's something in the formula of these particular colors that does its staining to the skin. FDA does not approve as an eyeshadow, so it's not allowed to be called an eyeshadow. There is a slight chance or a high chance, depending on your skin, that your skin may be stained by this product. So whenever you guys are using this kind of palettes that have pressed pigments, be very careful. One thing that I do, I apply some eye primer before I do my pressed pigments. The eye primer that I've been using is the Makeup Revolution eye primer. I also got Matte Dual Lips. They had three types of duos i got the fright club and the fright club has like a burgundy and a more pinkish color this is 12 dollars which is not that bad as well for a collab it's pretty nice value All right since this is my very first very colorful palette i am going to do my best to use as many colors as possible all right, now that I have you guys super close, let's start this party. I'm going to use my MAC 217. It's a really, really, really old guy. I'm going to do before dawn so I can have like a little bit of color. It does not have a lot of breakage on the pan. This palette seems to be very put together. I'm impressed with this formula. So I used to watch Sabrina in the 90s. I forgot the name of that blonde actress that used to be Sabrina. Sabrina the Teenager Witch. Sabrina the Teenage Witch is an American sitcom that aired from 1996 to 2003 and starred Melissa Joan Hart, Beth Broderick, and Caroline Rhea. There you go. So I used to watch that. I used to love it. It had that black cat sailing, the crazy nice aunts and fonts. I used to love it. And recently, they got a spin-off for Sabrina. Now I'm gonna go for, for Devil's Work right here. And I used to love the show. What I read about it is that it's because Sabrina was a character that was invented in Riverdale. It's a spin-off of the Sabrina Teenager Witch, but it's also trying to get true to the whole Riverdale thing. It's so different from the actual Sabrina Teenager Witch that I always to watch. It's so much darker. It's so much it's very interesting. I, I really like it. I'm gonna go on hell on earth right here. The cool thing about this palette is that, it's that I don't need to dig in super crazy and these colors are so nice and pigmented. It's not even funny. They just... Wow. I, I'm like just... Pop, pop, pop. 
what's up? I'm very impressed with these colors. And the fallout of it is minimum. I am very surprised, especially for the pressed pigments, because pressed pigments, you know, like usually they're gonna be more crumbly. But no, just kind of like tap, 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 and a ton of color comes out. Like, it's insane. It's like the best thing ever. It's so vibrant, it's so amazing, it's just so easy to use. I am going to go with the red and I'm going to put it in the bottom as well. I am going to go ahead and put another layer underneath it of the devil's work. I don't already put concealer on my eyes before I started the video. So now, let's cut that crease. We can play with more colors in this palette. One day I wanna see if I can do like a challenge, get one of these palettes and use the whole thing. Wouldn't it be awesome? I don't think I am in that strategy. I am going to go with a purpley right here. What is the light? Oh, this guy is not coming out. Not really coming out. Let me spray it. My colors have no rhyme or reason, so <laughs> spraying it, it's coming out a lot better. I'm gonna go back to Before Dawn, the very first color that we used, and I'm just going to kind of like blend these guys together. And these shades are really nice, like... So now let's make it festive. I'm gonna go for cunning right here. It does crumble a lot on the pan. Serious metal right now. It does not apply the smoothest. Let me try another color. I'm gonna do Ambrose right here. There's a purple metallic. Ooh. Oh, it's so pretty. It's a very pigmented palette, I must say. Okay, I wanna give it some light to my brow bone. I'm gonna go for the toothcake, a beige sort of color. So the truth cake does have a little bit of crazy fallout. You see all the white in the middle of the band. It needs a little bit of build up. It flies everywhere and it needs a little bit of build up. And I just realized that I just put most of my makeup on without the microphone being connected. Just did the whole video without the microphone. Oh well. Okay. So I'm going to get that little kitty, Salem, right here. 
And I'm gonna make like a little bit of a, a line. Oh, girl, this is a color. You need like very minimum amounts of it. Wow, you will get a lot out of it. Wow, this is a good black. I'm gonna go back to my CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored. I love this guy. And this one I tested on my Amazon video. Some of the products that I get from Amazon. But this is amazing mascara. I, I love this mascara. This mascara makes such a difference. It makes it longer. It doesn't clump up. Now I'm gonna go for my eyeliner. And I've been loving the LA Colors Liquid Eyeliner with Pine Tip. And this one is also a product that I used and tested. I tested this one on my Dollar Tree video. This Pine Tip, it's just everything I need in my life. And it just obeys you. You just tell it what to do and it just does it. But leave it down in the comments if I should have put eyelashes or not, but I'm not putting eyelashes. I don't care what you're saying. I'm just kidding. I do. Let's move on to the blush. Mm, I'm gonna go for more the the peachy one and just kind of tap tap tap. Just called Harvey. Is that like her uncle? I know Salem is a cat. It's Harvey. Is that a boyfriend? Who's that? Look at that. Came out like what? A charm. It's very adorable. It's a very romantic color. The highlighter's name is Caliban. So again, let's do it like tap, tap, tap. Do we see any improvement? Let's see. Oh, I see. Mm. Mm. Okay, this is not the kind of highlighter I like. It's very, it has a body to it, so it, it, it gets you cakey rather than shiny. So let's see the difference. I'm going to put on my Too Faced. I know this video is not about it, but I got this on my BoxyCharm, this uh, January BoxyCharm. I love it, I use it all the time. So let's put that one on. Oh, see? Oh my God, it glows. It gives you that glow. Yeah, see, immediately. Beautiful. Now let's move on to the lipsticks. Made in Taiwan, they both have the same code, CZSO0W, they both have the same code, so I guess it's based on the name of the, the duo. So this is the Fright Club, the lighter color up here, the darker color down here. I'm gonna put on the red one. Oh, hmm. Smells like caramel. It looks pretty good too. Here's the makeup, you guys. Let me know if I should have put eyelashes on. I'm just too lazy right now to do that. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina Part 3. Amazing palette. As a reviewer, not a beauty guru, because as you can see, I'm like not super great at makeup, but as a reviewer, I love the fact that this smells like caramel. It smells so good to put on. It's so easy to put on. And for a darker shade, for a person like me who doesn't have that much experience with makeup, easy, breezy, wonderful. I had an easy time to put this stuff on. No fallout whatsoever. Let me get closer to you guys so you guys can see that there's like no fallout. The peachy sort of uh, blush is just just gave me like a just a healthy color i feel like just 
it's just easy to use. This is a easy to use palette. Amazing amounts of shades. Very cheap per pen. The pigmentation is gorgeous. Literally, you don't need to use much product to have such a result. Super, super worth it. I'm leaving the link down below in the description. Well, this is it for me, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Ring that bell button. I would really appreciate. Like the video if you like the content today. Leave down in the comment section if there's something I could have done better with my makeup routine. I would really appreciate any advice you guys can give me and I will see you guys next week. You in for a treat after you wearing the whole makeup for a couple of hours. It's been like about three hours and I was here going to take it off but I was like, you know what? Let's see if this is going to actually stain my eyelids since those are pigments. So I decided to take the makeup off for you guys in the end of the video. Thank you for staying for the whole video. And now let's see if it's going to stain me. So let's go and move on to my filming area so we can see with the white lights all right so now i have more lighting and then we can see that in my case it did not stain my eyes okay i'll take the rest of the makeup later but obviously i'm not saying that's going to not stain everybody or stain everybody everybody's different thank you so much for staying this long and getting to the end of the video and getting to see me taking off the makeup i am sorry i didn't mention it in the beginning of the video because i just thought about it right now but i hope to see you guys next week and now is a goodbye now for serious and i'll see you guys next week bye